हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल दिस इज योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन द सेम टॉपिक दैट इज पोएम आइसक्रीम ड्रीम बट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ दिस पोएम आइसक्रीम ड्रीम रिटर्न बाय रोहन मैंड्रिक सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस एक्सरसाइजेज इज ऑन पेज नंबर नाइन्टी वन सो टेक आउट योर इंग्लिश रीडर बुक पेज नंबर नाइन्टी वन एंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस पोएम सो इफ़ यू हैवेंट वॉच इट येट यू कैन चेक द लिंक दैट इज अवेलेबल एट योर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप सो लेट्स मूव टू द एक्सरसाइजेज नाउ हियर यू कैन सी आंसर दिज क्वेश्चन्स फर्स्ट वन द पोएट विशेज फॉर सम वेरी अनयूजल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फ्लेवर्स डिस्क्राइब एनी टू ऑफ दैम आंसर इज हियर द पोएट विशेज फॉर सम वेरी अनयूजल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फ्लेवर्स लाइक फर्स्ट आइसक्रीम विथ हॉट गार्लिक चीज एंड सेकेंड ए डैश ऑफ चिली सॉस इन इट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू What kind of ice cream cake did the poet's mother make? Answer is the poet's mother makes cake with fresh coconut underneath and topped with lazy lemon rings. Third question number 3 What kind of popsicle does the poet like to eat? Answer is the poet likes to eat mango stick kind of popsicle. Now look at next exercise B. Use these similar sounding words in sentences to bring out their different meanings. Here you can see first one here, here, there, there, I, I, wait, wait. Here you can see these all words are homonyms and this means they are pronounced exactly the same way but spelled differently and the meanings are different too. Here you have to make the sentences with this similar sounding words. Like here you can see first one a hair is like a rabbit. My grandmother has long hair. In these both sentences the word hair hair pronunciation is same. but the meanings are different so this you have to do with your own like second one there here first word there means the opposite of here at that place and the second meaning of there is belong to them and in the third sentence here you can see the first i and this i both are pronounced the same using diphthong i can be a pronoun and noun whereas i e y e i acts as a noun as well as a verb next fourth one is wait and this is also pronounced same wait wait and wait are homonyms they are also pronounced exactly the same way and the verb here wait means to stay in place until something else else happens as a noun wait refers to time spent waiting and the verb here wait means to load down or make heavier the noun wait refers to measure or heaviness or to an object used to hold something down so you have to do this with uh, your own means you have to make sentences with all this similar sounding words now look at next a new word can be made by adding certain letters before a word this plus agree is equal to disagree in the given example d i s this is a prefix some common prefixes are m l this un miss and in so first of all uh, you should know that what is prefixes 
and prefixes are letters which we add to the beginning of a word to make a new word with a different meaning prefixes can for uh, can be used for example create a new word opposite in meaning to the word the prefix is attached to they can also make a word negative or express relations of time place or manner there are some common prefixes as you can see here im il dis un miss and in now look at next exercise c circle the prefixes in this words like impatient unknown illegal disobey misbehave and informal so here you can see im is the prefixes here in the second word un in the third ill this miss and in now look at the next exercise d use the prefixes in im un or this to make new words from these words first one is already done here you can see correct incorrect second complete incomplete third order disorder fourth agree disagree fifth perfect imperfect sixth equal unequal so children i hope you have understood you can complete your book with the help of this videos or the given notes that is available at your whatsapp group thank you that's it for today